Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a specific financial statement analysis that we can do with our multi-step income statement. And that's known as the profit margin ratio. So let's take a look. Notice here I have the formula profit margin ratio in the upper right corner of this slide. Profit margin ratio equals net income over net sales. Now, First and foremost, the profit margin ratio is, as the name might suggest, a profitability ratio. And specifically, it's going to be a profitability ratio about your entire business. Notice the numerator, net income. Net income is the very bottom line of the income statement. Here I have Dick's Sporting Goods income statement. I have REI's income statement. Notice bottom line, net income, bottom line, net income. In other words, net income follows from all the revenues of the company, all the expenses of the company, operating, non-operating, tax, it's all baked in. But notice the denominator in that ratio, net sales. Net sales is way up here on the income statement. Net sales is talking about the profit, or, or I should say the revenue, from your products. All right, so with that said, what is the PMR telling us? What does it mean to have net income over net sales? Well, let's break it out a little bit. PMR equals NI over NS. Net income is a way of saying net sales, because that's the start of your um, income statement is your sales, minus op expenses, plus or minus non-op, minus taxes, all over net sales. This is just a simplified way of saying what goes into net income, right? So notice net sales is on the top and the bottom. The difference between these two is your top subtracts out all your operating expenses, adds and subtracts all of your non-operating gains and losses, revenues and expenses, and subtracts out your taxes. So what does this tell us about the company? Well, what it's really saying is, what portion of your sales revenue do you actually get to keep after you account for all the other aspects of your business? How profitable are you as a business as a whole is kind of what this is talking about. So let's do this for Dick Sporting Goods and REI. So I'm going to have over here PMRD for Dick Sporting Goods. Over here I'm going to have PMRR for REI. And we can just pull these numbers straight from the financial statements. I'm going to use the most recent year for both companies. There's net income, there's net sales, there's net income, there's net sales. Let's go ahead and divide this out. So we've got our net income, 297462, over net sales, 8750743. Over for REI, we've got 21044 over 31229. That looks like a 94. Pull out my calculator, and we'll do the math on these. So REI 21044 over 3122994 comes out to less than 1%. So uh, we're going we're gonna to be generous here and say, um, I guess we'll say 0.7%. Okay, pretty low there. Um, and then, whoops, put that away too soon. On Dick's side, 297462 divided by 8750743 comes out to approximately 3.4%. All right, now what does this tell us about these companies? Well, first of all, just the raw number, 3.4 or 0.7, tells us that for dicks, they end up at the end of the day, after all the other aspects of their business, they still keep 3.4% of their revenue. REI, at the end of the day, after all the other aspects of their business, they only keep 0.7% of their revenue. So no matter how good either of these companies is doing as far as being able to sell and being able to mark up their products and collect a good gross profit on that product, the rest of the business could be eating all of your profits away. And in the case of REI, that definitely looks like the case whether that's coming from their operating expenses, whether that's coming from their non-operating components, whether that's coming from their taxes, something down in this area of the income statement is eating up their profit. On the other hand, Dick's, yeah, sure, they're still losing a lot of their profit. They only keep 3.4% of it, 
at the end of the day, but that's still a lot better number than 0.7. So that suggests that Dix is doing something a little bit better here with respect to how much its operations cost or how much of its non-operating activities are doing or how much it's paying in taxes. Because those are the main things that are gonna affect your profit margin ratio. It's all of this stuff that stands between net sales and net income. All right, that's it for the profit margin ratio. Hope you found that helpful. Hope you join me for another video.